Hi everyone. Okay, this is a video aimed at people who are thinking of taking geography at Rich Jewish College. And this is going to be about thinking like a geographer. Now, we would normally um, have done this at something called Welcome to Hewish, which is where you uh, would have come along to college for a couple of days to try out your subjects and think about, is this the right subject for me? I'm not entirely sure. Um, obviously, we're in a slightly strange year, but I wanted to try and replicate the experience as much as I possibly can. So, I'm going to show you some photographs. And all I want you to do is to think about, how do they link to geography? What could I say about them? Even if you look at that photo and think, I don't know what that's of. Don't get too bogged down in that, but just think, there must be something I could say. Alright, so... Without further ado, do you know what that is? Got any idea? Even if you don't know what it is you're looking at, hopefully you could figure out it's some kind of a cloud. Could you then go on to figure out what kind of cloud it was? Um, it's quite a famous cloud, I'll tell you that much. Um, you might be able to link it to uh, possibly even a case study that you've studied in the past. Don't know. Sorry, need to click. Okay, um, slightly different one, this. Palm trees don't usually grow in the ocean, do they? They often grow on beaches. What part of the world do palm trees live in? Is there a particular area that you would tend to find palm trees? Can you think of a link between uh, that part of the world and sea levels and things like that? Anything to say about that? Okay, this is quite a famous image. Um, do you know of any country that tends to build on a block pattern? They tend to build in very straight rows and, and have a block system. Do you know a country like that? Do you know of a country where uh, flooding was kind of quite famous? Um, you can see some taller buildings in the background. What part of the city usually has the tallest buildings? Do you know that? Um, you might have studied this as a case study, possibly. Here, we've got some trees knocked over, which would seem to suggest uh, quite strong wind damage. Now, that's a very, very famous photograph. You may have seen it already. Um, it's produced by, or it's a hazard, that is produced by something that you do study as part of the A-level. Do you know what hazard that is? It has a couple of different names. Um, they're, they're pretty scary things, it has to be said. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the French. The French name is Nuée Ardente, uh, which is not a commonly used name. Um, but do you know what kind of a hazard that is? Oh, this is a brilliant photograph. Love this photo. Do you know what you're looking at? Could you have a guess at what you're looking at? Um, even if you don't know what the clouds thing is in the background, you're clearly looking at some kind of a ship. Are ships important? What do ships carry? Why might we study those in geography? What's that got to do with anything? Um, I should just say there is quite a lot of evidence that this is probably photoshopped. If you had those kinds of clouds, you would probably have much bigger waves than are in evidence. Okay, this is a different kind of ship. Super important ship for modern life. Do you know what kind of ship that is? What might be in those boxes? How's that got any relation to geography? Can you think? Do you know anything about those boxes? Do you know uh, why they revolutionised the planet? They were such a brilliant idea when they were invented. Do you know where else those boxes go? Maybe, I'll give you a clue here. You might have seen them on the back of lorries, possibly. So they are super important. A different kind of a boat now. A rather overcrowded boat. Who are those people? Where have they come from? Where are they going? Why do boats like that make the news? Why do people move? In boats, what 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 are they trying to achieve? What's the point of all that? Um, 
Why do these kind of boats make the news often for all the wrong reasons? Um, how do people treat people like this who um, are on massively overcrowded boats? Okay, very, very different sort of an image. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> you're looking at ice, ladies and gents. And what you're looking at is some lines. Look, in 1902 to 2001, that's not quite 100 years, but we'll forgive them. 100 years, we, okay. And then 2001 to 2010. Huh. What are they trying to get across with that image? This is quite a big thing in geography. It's quite a big thing for the planet, to be honest. Aha! Now this is a bit of a mystery, a bit of a riddle. Clearly, folks, this is a train track. I'm going to give you that much. Do we build train tracks like that? No. <laughs> if you build train tracks like that, you are... Well, you need to reset your engineering course, I would suggest. That's, uh, that's not going to end well for anybody. What could have made that happen. If the train track wasn't built like that, why is it like that now? What on earth is powerful enough to do that? Can you think of anything? Could you name a country, maybe? Oh yeah, sorry about the sad image. It's not a very nice one, is it? Um, you're looking at a polar bear, well done, on some ice, well done. Which part of the planet do polar bears live in? Think about that. What are we trying to get across with that image? So polar bears only live in one part of the planet. Do you know which part that is? Could you say anything about the kind of changes that are going on? What's the significance of the polar bear as well? Do you know what's happening to them specifically? And I should say other species. Okay. You might know the name for the foreground of this picture. It's a type of housing. It's quite a famous type of housing in geography. Do you know what they're called? If, if you're not sure what they're called, do you know why they get built? What do they get made out of? What kind of countries do we see housing like this in? We can clearly also see something that in geography we call inequality, which is quite important actually. What is inequality? What if I point out that part and that part, what's that all about? Ah, much closer to home for this one. What are we looking at, ladies and gents? What is that? It should be reasonably familiar to you, particularly if you live in Somerset, maybe less so if you're from other parts of the country. What is it? Why is it important? Why is it in the news? What changes are happening there? Is that going to have any impact on the local area? Good? Bad? Are you not sure? Who knows? So that, I'll, it is on the north coast of Somerset. I'll give you that much of a clue. All right. So just have a, have a think about those as best you can. And what I'm going to do in um, another video is I'm going to talk you through each of those images and, and give you a few little clues. And it might give you just a bit more of a flavour of what to expect from the course. Okay, see you in the next one.